guys welcome back to Kali J's kitchen today I'll show you how I made my stew chicken don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and comment and tell a friend to tell another friend to come over and subscribe to my channel also guys remember to follow me on Facebook Kali J's kitchen and also all of my recipes are in the description box so here I have my chicken already washed and seasoned and chopped up so I also have some soy sauce browning Parsley flakes, all purpose seasoning, black pepper, Maggi chicken season up. I also have some pimento seed and I also have my vegetables. Here I have my bell pepper, my onion, my scotch bonnet pepper, my garlic, and my thyme. So now I'm just going to go ahead and season my chicken. First, I'm just going to go ahead and add the soy sauce. And I'm also going to add the parsley flakes. Now I'm just going to go in and add some of the browning. And I'm also going to add some black pepper, some Maggi chicken season up, and the island spice all purpose seasoning. And guys, don't forget, I made a video to show you how to do brown stew chicken. The link will be in this description box. Go ahead and try it out. So now I'm just going to go in and add my pimento seeds. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut up my vegetables. And as you can see, I'm not cutting up the vegetables too small nor too big. Just the right size. Because when you're eating, you want to have that crunch as well. And guys, the brown stew chicken is good with dumpling, banana, yam, plantain, rice rice and peas whatever you want it with you can go ahead and have it with your brown stew chicken also try your brown stew chicken with fried dumplings very good so now guys i'm just cutting up the onion as you can see and guys don't forget to check me out on facebook kali j's kitchen and also subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I upload a video. So now I'm just going to go in and add the Irish potato. And guys, let me tell you a little secret. If you want your gravy to have a little thick consistency when you, whenever you're cooking like curry chicken or brown stew chicken or stew chicken, you can go in and add some Irish potato. That helps to give your gravy a little thick consistency. So now I'm just going to go in and cut up my garlic and I'm also going to cut my scotch bonnet pepper in two. So now guys, I, I'm now guys, I'm finished adding all of the vegetables. I'm just going to go in and combine the seasoning, the vegetables and the chicken together. I'm just going to use my hand because my hand is clean. You see that color coming along so guys at this stage I realized that my chicken is still a little bit white so I'm just gonna go in and add some more brown into my chicken and guys please note that after I finish seasoning my chicken I allow my chicken to sit for about 30 minutes before cooking Wow, look at that color, guys. Coming along very fine. So, guys, this is what it looks like after I finish 
adding the browning so now guys it's time to cook my chicken as you can see i have my pot on the stove already and i add a little bit of vegetable oil so i'm just gonna go in and add my seasoned chicken with my vegetables to the pot and i'm just gonna give this a little stir and I'm going to leave it for 15 minutes because I'm not going to add any water. I'm just going to cover it and leave it for 15 minutes and allow it to spring its own water. So guys, after 15 minutes, this is what my chicken look like. And as you can see, it's bringing own water. So at this stage now, I'm just going to go ahead and add some warm water to my chicken. Not a lot, just a small amount because as you can see, it's bring a lot of water. So I'm just going to go in and add some water now. And I'm just going to give it 10 more minutes before i add the tomato ketchup and i might add a little bit more seasoning. i might add a little bit more seasoning depending on the taste so i'm just gonna allow this to cook and then i'll show you what it looks like while cooking down so guys as you can see this is what it looks like cooking down so i'm just gonna go ahead now and add some tomato ketchup And I'm just going to combine that together. And at this stage, guys, you want to taste it because you want to see if the gravy is too salty or you want a little bit more salt. Then at this stage, you can make adjustments. So I'm just going to allow this to simmer down and then show you the final product. So guys, after 30 to 35 minutes, this is what my stew chicken looks like, the final product. Don't forget guys to try this recipe, it's listed in the description box. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Kali J's Kitchen. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.